What does the future of animal control look like in Taylor County? A Taylor County Commission meeting Tuesday will help decide that. I'm Mayor Sargent in the Perry neighborhood. Animal advocates are fighting for improved services and better protocols here at the shelter. I talk to them about their concerns and what they hope will change. It matters for the animals. Uh, they didn't ask to be there. Animal advocates ready for change at Taylor County Animal Control. Taylor County needs to move out of the Stone Age and do better for the animals there. They say they're tired of poor conditions, a lack of sanitation, accountability, and emergency veterinary care. Now a group of animal advocates and the nonprofit Hearts for Hometown Dogs will meet with the Taylor County Commission on Tuesday to discuss changes they want to see. We um, hope to see animal control conditions and policies reflect the current standards uh, of care for the animals at the shelter. Tuesday's meeting is in response to the county's direction provided in August. I don't want to hear of another dog that's been there for days. Make a list of your uh, things that need to be done to present to the board. Hearts for Hometown Dogs suspended their volunteer services in August because of what they say are poor conditions, like overpopulation. <laughs> The Florida Shelter Animal Census and the Shelter Medicine Program at the University of Florida reported in 2023 that there were 42 animal intakes per 1,000 residents in Taylor County. That's compared with 15 intakes per 1,000 residents in Leon County, an area that has a population with over 280,000 more people. I contacted the county for an updated comment ahead of the meeting, but I have not yet heard back. The meeting and workshop will take place on Tuesday at 6 p.m. It is open to the public. In Perry, Mayor Sargent, ABC 27.